In this movie, we will show how to take an FTS measurement with an LSM upgrade kit. The LSM upgrade kit is attached to a Fluview 1200 and it consists on a single molecule sensitive hybrid detector, a pulsed diode laser, the photon counting electronics and the software. FCS measurements require the use of high NA objectives. So in this case, we're using an Olympus silicon objective as an alternative to a water objective. And we place the sample onto its holder and move the stage to the right position. It is very important to cover the sample to protect it against room light. If you're measuring a solution, like in this example, and you don't have an image uh, on which you can select the position where you want to measure, you can focus into the sample using the, time tra the lifetime histogram or the time trace. It is important to create a workspace before the measurement in order to, to tell the software where to store the data. For focusing, you can use the XY repeat mode and use all the time trace or the TCSPC curve in order to, to check for the right focus position. So if I focus into the solution as I'm doing now, you see I get first of all a reflection at the, at the cover slide. And now I'm in the solution and I just see the decay of my chloroform that I want to observe. On the time trace, I have the same. I have low signal below, the higher signal inside the solution. In this case, we are still scanning. You know, if we want to make a point measurement, we have to stop here. and uh, select a point on the live view where, where we want to measure. So in this case, it's already set here. The measurement time in the Olympus software is given by the pixel time times the number of pixels times the repetition. So here, this is set in a, to a very high number. So it will record basically for 20, 29 minutes roughly. So if I start the measurement here, I can see the fluctuations that are caused by the diffusion of the single molecules. Here, I can see then the TCSPC curve and here, you can see the FCS graph. What is important is to get the right cover slide correction, which you can set at the objective. And you see if, if you set the cover slide correction wrongly, the curve drops because the volume increases. And with the increase of the volume, also the intensity, the excitation intensity inside the volume just decreases per area. And this is reflected by looking at the molecular brightness. Double click on the parameter can always open it up in the larger window. So if I turn here, then you can see that the molecular brightness drops as the FCS curve goes down. Another important parameter 
of course, is the intensity. If I decrease the intensity, I also decrease, obviously, the molecular brightness. It is um, actually, it makes sense not to work at the saturation condition, so not at the highest molecular brightness, because that may, reduce, may lead to photo bleaching and therefore falsify some of the results. And once satisfied with the settings, you can stop. You can set the measurement time in the simple time here. So for example, if I want to measure 30 seconds, I enter it here. Of course, if I click now onto the point measurement, I will, I will illuminate the sample much longer, but the storing time will be limited by the time set here in the simple time. Another crucial parameter is, of course, the pinhole. These settings should be all should be similar in every measurement, and it should be set to basic, to to one area unit. Okay, if I want to record a measurement, I first open up the beam pass by starting the measurement in the Olympus software, and then I record the data here. So you see, the software automatically switches to the measurement mode, displays the FCS curve here, and the time trace over here. This can be configured down here, so you can have also additional displays. Or if you have more detectors, you can display basically several curves at once. After the measurement, a file is generated. This is the raw data file, and this is the uh, calculated FCS curve from the online analysis. A double click on this curve will open the analysis panel. If you want to do more advanced kinds of FCS analysis or other kinds of analysis, you can click on this um, raw data file and open any analysis script. <coughs> 